Oh, no way. No way, no way, no way. Yes. Oh, oh my God, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> That's really cool. There's some beautiful looking ones too. All right, guys. It's Puget Sound, part two in Tacoma Narrows. I actually looked on how to do it. And we're here and we're sending it. Uh, it's pretty early. It's like eight o'clock. It's not that bad. Please do not feed waterfowl. All right. <clears throat> I wonder if you're allowed to fish this a little lagoon. I doubt there's anything in it. But yeah, this is my first time. I decided to bring the fly rod and spinning reel because I just don't know. I don't know how today's gonna go. Hopefully I catch something on the fly rod this time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't have much of a game plan. And uh, I've only had one cup of coffee and I didn't bring alcohol. So this is gonna kind of suck. Hopefully it's decent. Hey, good morning. I think I see somebody. <sighs> Everything has a hidden danger do not use. Hidden dangers, what the fuck? Like what? <laughs> like I'm genuinely concerned now. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck, dude? Notice railroad property, trespassing forbidden under penalty law. Okay. Railroad property, trespassing forbidden. All right, so you can't go down that way, I guess, legally. But there's a trailhead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw somebody. Hidden dangers do not use. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I see somebody right over there. It's fucking wild, dude. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start fishing here. I'm gonna fish this point this little beach head right here and then fish on the other way. Is it already getting ticked at? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, here we go. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my fly rod, but I don't know how much I'm actually gonna use it, at least at this park. I'm trying to, I'm thinking I might, I probably should have gone that way. Alright, I'm gonna go across to that little beach there. Cause this is I think is still a part of the marine reserve. <laughs> built up in my freaking waders. is crazy dude it's a nice little getaway <laughs> i still want to figure out what kind of trees these are it's just crazy dude they like shed half their bark what the hell is all this yeah what is that <laughs> Oh, it's a... Bro, is that seaweed? That's cool. Like red kelp or something. Man, it is melty right here. There's a lot of seaweed here. The fuck? I'm probably gonna go where that tree is. Cool little freshwater stream here. Man, this is cool. This is nice. This is the first time I've ever like explored the South Puget Sound. This is so nice out here. I think that's as, this is as far as I can go before I have to climb on the rocks. Oh. <sighs>
All right, guys, we're at Tacoma, or we're at the Narrows Park across the pond. Oh, I'd left my freaking lights on at the other place. Luckily, somebody jumped my car. Uh, so I had to wait like a whole hour and a half just running my car. Got a, got some Starbucks too, just so I could actually drive around and you know be above a thousand RPM. Uh, so hopefully it's good. I'm kind of effed if I'm if it's not. Like I'll have to call roadside. Uh, but we're continuing the quest. We're continuing it. Hopefully we get something. I see a bunch of fishing birds like right out there. Uh, oh god. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and walk towards the towards the bridge. It's not far. Uh, yeah, we might start like right over here. Fish this little cut. Looks like there's like a little bit of a break right here. Maybe a tidal exchange. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Kind of sucks though because the wind is literally coming at us this time instead of with us. But I think we'll make it work. That's why I brought the ten weight. But yeah. Uh, I'm really close to the bridge now and I still haven't gotten anything, but that's okay. Can you just stop with the wind? <laughs> anyway, yeah, man, it is so beautiful out here. You know, again, at least, at least I got a nice view, man. At least I got a nice view. And it's rainy now. That's great. Yeah, no, I, I really love this right now. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not ideal. But then again, when, when is fishing ever ideal, you know? It's really only in the summertime with a few other nice things going on. Shout out to Josh Brown. Josh Brown, if you're watching my video again, if you're watching this part two, shout out to you because, oh my God, Skagit casting on the salt water is so much easier. I don't know why I didn't do this before. And I'm getting 100 foot casts. Shout out, big shout out. I'm gonna stop backcasting. I'm gonna have to like reteach myself how to backcast. I'm gonna go to Florida or something where where they don't have Skagit heads, and I'm gonna have to be like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be on a skiff. Everybody's gonna be. Everyone's gonna have their nine foot ten weights, just solid backcasting. I'm gonna be up there with a spay rod, with a trout spay, just looking like a dingleberry. <laughs> but it'll be fine again shout out shout out to josh like easy easy day <laughs> uh cool guys man if you if you if uh, if uh, yeah you know if you're new to fly fishing or you're new to skagit head to like skagit casting and like single hand spay or uh, double hand spay check out opst all right you know, it's not it's not expensive to get started uh, comparatively to oh. oh I think I just shot a piece of seaweed on there. It's not expensive to get into, you know. You can go on their YouTube channel and it they break down like the full price of everything. It's like $140 for the whole system. Uh and I use max catch fly rods because I'm a cheapo. And like this 10 weight, this is a this is a 10 weight fly rod with a nice uh, with a nice uh, second fight fighting uh, stock or fighting fighting cork. And this was probably 100 bucks, so you're looking at 240 250 dollars for a full setup, um, not including flies, obviously. Uh, but you know. Honestly, man, any fly shop that you go to, they usually have a have a little cutthroat box. Uh, Pacific Fly Fishers, that's where I go because I'm so far north. They have a whole cutthroat box. It's and they have like it. They have it broken down from summer to winter. Uh, yeah, solid, dude. Solid. It's easy. Uh, nice shout outs. I am not sponsored by anybody that I'm shouting out.
Oh, bad cast. <clears throat> Oh, no way. No way, no way, no way. Yes. Oh, oh my God, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Holy shit, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Come here, buddy. Oh, yes. We did it, guys! Oh my god, and the, yep, and the fly came out. Oh, that's a solid, holy crap. Oh, he's so beautiful. He, she, looks like a, oh, it looks like a resident coho. Oh my god. Yeah, it's got a black mouth and everything. We're gonna let her, we're gonna let this one go real quick. Oh, she is so ready to go. He, she, they, it, so ready to go. Nice and beautiful. All right, buddy. And he's gone, he's off. He's just sitting right there. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. We traveled all the way to Tacoma and passed. How'd a car battery die? And we finally got a solid resident coho. Oh my god. Hold on, I'm trying to put my trying to put my net away. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, all right, let's go get another one before we have to leave. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was awesome, man. All right, I got to <sighs> on the 10 weight solid coho solid resident coho nice black mouth oh my god holy shit and it was like right over here too so i wonder if maybe there's a school okay <laughs> holy crap i can't believe i got it too oh uh, on the 10 weight that's such an overkill <laughs> so overkill man uh so awesome dude Yes, yes. Hopefully we got the hookup. Oh, I'm so excited. I've, <laughs> it has been so long since I have caught a fish. And it has been so long since I caught a fish on the fly rod in the salt water too. Oh my God. <sighs> yes, baby. Oh, that was great. All right, I gotta check the, uh, if there's anything that Florida has taught me is to always check your leader, check your fly. It's a little bit dinged up. There we go, that's better. Yes! <laughs> Woo! So good, so good. Go on, just walk down with it a little bit. Oh, yes! We got it, we got the resident coho. Okay, now we just need the cutthroat and uh, and maybe a nice maybe a nice salmon. It's it's an odd year, so maybe pink pink salmon in season here in a little bit. Oh, that was beautiful! What a beautiful fish! He's got to have a friend somewhere. That was awesome, dude. And it was such a subtle take. I did. I thought I was hooked on a rock, honestly. It, it, it really, I don't know how to explain it. it. It really did not feel very heavy. Maybe because it's a 10 weight. It's probably mainly that, but oh my God. What a great, what a great start.
Well, it's not even a start. It's pretty much the end of the day at this point. It's it's 1.30. I'm right underneath the bridge. Oh, oh man, what a smile. Oh, I got a big old smile on my face. That was great. I'm still so excited about it. Come on, let's go ahead and get another one. Oh, that was awesome, dude. That was so great. Holy moly. Oh. <laughs> yes, that was awesome.